Come on now. Con, um, con. It literally like time is flying by. Like literally, it's about to be the Sabbath again. Like I was, I was. We just had Tuesday call last week. Like what? Time is flying by, y'all. Like it's literally time is speeding up. And they just mandated the vaccine in Chicago. Like if you don't have the vac, if you don't have the, you can go Google this. If you don't have the vaccine in Chicago, you can't go get none to eat. You can't get going on a drink. Things is getting getting really real out here. And that's why we just got to stay diligent. You know, me personally, like, I just find peace. And Lord willing, I'll do. I just find peace in knowing that I have faith in the Lord. And, you know, I find peace in knowing that Lord willing, you know, we're going to be protected and guided in that day because we're doing the Lord's will. And, you know, keeping faith in Yahweh by Shema Shah. So, Lord willing, we can continue to endure. And, Lord willing, you know, we can increase in the faith. So, Lord willing, we can find peace in knowing that when all hell breaks loose, the Most High is going to protect us because he said that he will. You know, the Most High is not a liar. So, Lord willing, we can find peace and comfort in the scripts, Romans 15 and 4. Um, but with that being said, um, <clears throat> um, you know, I've never, have never done nothing like this. You know, my king gave me an idea through the spirit of just, you know, just reading some exhortation precepts to one another and just encouraging one another to continue to endure. So, like, that's some what precepts they want to start out with. You know, you can go ahead if not. Or just let me know and you know Khan um the Motel had me reading in um sorry chapter 51 hold on y'all I'm so lucky I don't even know why I don't even have my dad going pop a fruit on me dang let me see if I can go to the app but um it was I was reading um chapter 51 and it was really, you know, really good. And it's a really good prayer um to read if y'all get a chance to read it. Um, but the last two verses, um verse 29 and verse 30. So Sirach tw- um 51, verse 29 and verse 30, it says, Let your soul rejoice in his mercy and be not ashamed of his praise. Work your work be times, and in his time, he will give you your reward. So, you know, we got to keep enduring through this thing. Um, you know, no no matter how people may, you know, look at you, um, you know, they, they don't have the understanding that the Most High has given you. And, um, you know, we're going to, Lord willing, we're going to uh, reap what we've sown, which is, you know, the good works and um, the most high will, you know, uh, reward us for those things, Lord willing, if he sees it fit. Consist, and that precept, all praise to the most high, you know, that's also, you know, said in, you know, Revelations, I believe, you know, you have a child coming to reward every man according to his work. So Lord willing, we just continue to endure and do the works, you know, do the works with all our might. You know, serve the Lord joyfully. And that precept just made me think of this. This is Hebrews chapter 6 and verse 10. For Yahweh is not unrighteous to forget your work and labor of love, which ye have shewed toward his name, and that ye have ministered to the saints and do minister. And we desire that every one of you do this, do shew the same diligence to the full assurance of hope unto the end, that ye be not slothful, but followers of them who through faith and patience inherit the promises. 
So that precept just made me think it is, you know, and I never read that precept before until my king sent it to me last week. You know, the most high is not unrighteous to forget our work. The most I know all of our works and our laboring that we're doing behind closed doors, in front of people, uh, not in front of people. You know, we just got to continue to have that same diligence until the end. You know, we got to just continue to endure in this thing. You know, we got to keep the law, of the commandments until death, Lord willing. You know, we can't, you know, we just got to continue to endure in this thing. You know, Lord willing, the most high, because the, every, the Lord is controlling everything. But that's one thing I've really been meditating on lately and just finding more peace at knowing is that the Lord is in control of everything. Whatever's in the Lord's will is going to happen. So Lord willing, the most I have the spirit on us to enter to death, to enter into the end. Lord willing, the most I have the spirit on us to what we never denounce his name because everything is of the Lord. Lord willing, we just continue to endure in this thing, continue to do the work. But um, that piece So I, uh, I got a piece up which is 41 and 10, which reads, Fear thou not, for I am with thee. Be not dismayed, for I am thy God. I will strengthen thee, will help thee. Yet I will uphold thee with the right hand of my own trouble. No, we shouldn't be afraid or doubt. Because we got to have faith in the Lord that he'll be, and not, um, you know, his words as if man works. You know, man lies, but he doesn't lie. So we got to stay faithful to um, to his word and what he say. Um, the precept is Isaiah 40. You won't mute, sis. Can you hear me? Con, I can hear you now. Can I be heard? Oh, okay. okay. Yeah, um, this is X for the precept. It, it was uh, Isaiah 41 and 10. We're basically going over how we're not supposed to fear and be afraid because the Lord, out of his old mouth, said that he's going to help us and be with us, so there's nothing to worry about. Like, one of my friends told me, he, um, he was like, think of what you're going through as a test, you know? As a test, you that will come, of course, but don't get afraid or weary. Just continue to have faith in the Lord and keep Him on your mind. Time, time, time. Um, <clears throat> I had a precept on Second Ezra. Um, So I can. Uh, second Ezra, um, sixteen of our seventy-four through seventy-five. Um, here, O ye, my beloved, saith the Lord. So, like, I'm sort of our seventy-three. <laughs> yeah, I'm sort of our seventy-three. Then shall it be known who are my chosen, and they shall be tried as the gold and the fire. Hear, O ye, my beloved, saith the Lord, behold, the days of trouble are at hand, but I will deliver you from the same. Be ye not afraid, neither doubt for you, how is your God? So the Most High is going to be trying us through the fire. The Most High is, is going to be trying us through the fire, you know, because uh, it's said that you know, we're seeing this acceptable to go through this. So the most time's going to continue to trust with the fire. Now, and even when our hell's breaking loose in that day and Jacob's trouble, so we're not going to get, you know, we're going to be tried even then. You know, and um, the days of trouble, there are all these things that's coming to pass. And that's why we got to continue to have the faith. That's why we got to continue to call upon the name of the Lord and be diligent and do the works because the most high is going to be our guide in that day. The most high is not dealing with every man, woman, child in the nation of Israel. You know, the most, just being real, the most high is not dealing with everybody in Israel. There has to be a two thirds. Being real, there has to be a two thirds. Lord willing, we're not a part of that number. We, we, we got to continue to make sure we're doing what we got to do to make the calling of our election sure. 
so we can be guided in that day. So just continue to meditate upon these precepts and do what we have to do and just endure. They're endure during this living hell, this living cap, this this captivity, and endure when all hell breaks loose. Kind of like a just back people for one will be well just a of course a just not like the Lord speaks out of the Bible. You know, you have some, no. Tom, you're breaking up a little bit, but it might just be me because we're driving right now. It might just be me, but you're breaking up a little bit. I um, That's how clear now. Well, uh, I, now. Oh yeah, yeah, I can hear you now. Yeah. Okay, that's Um, I had another person. Uh, one is what kind. Oh, the tabernacle of Yahweh is with them, and he will dwell and be their God. And Yahweh shall wipe away, oh, nor find you to try to be any more pain for the former thriving for this kingdom of heaven. You know, we're striving to be in this kingdom with Yahweh. You know, we're striving so we don't have to feel no more pain or crime, feel no more sorrow. So we don't have to deal with this no more. So we don't, so we don't got to deal with this stuff no more. This is the stuff we're striving, we're trying to strive to get the kingdom so our tears can be wiped away. So we don't have to be in this wicked body no more, this mortal body. So we, we're striving so we can be in that immortal body. We won't ever feel pain no more. We're striving to get, and I had another piece of laying back off that way. It's the second Timothy chapter two and verse three. Um, though, and though therefore endure hardness as a good soldier of your house to no man that war and tangles himself with the affairs of his life that he may please him who have chosen him to be a soldier and if a man also strive for masters yet is he not crowned except he strive lawfully so we gotta get into both of these things for y'all watching our shots we can't get caught up in the lust of the flesh we can't get caught up in the break loose but prophecy is a fun unfolding we don't know when our hell is gonna break Lose the prophecy is, is unfolding. So we can't be comfortable here. We got to remember that the kingdom is the goal. We got to remember that this is not our rest. We're trying to go home. We're trying to get the kingdom. So we got to continue to strive lawfully. Strive for that kingdom. Strive to get on the right hand side of your Strive for the kingdom so we don't ever have to cry no more. So so we don't ever have to displease you. So we'll be out of this wicked freaking flesh. What's so kind. Oh, that's uh -huh. a body thing. I'm gonna take away the word. It sounds so, we sound so choppy. <laughs> oh, that's Satan. That's really just Satan. To be of the Lord, it can't be overthrown. Hey. Con, con. I have a precept though. I can't hear if anybody saying anything. Ooh. I'm not interrupting my, nobody. It's choppy, but. I have a precept and wisdom of Solomon. You sound good. I sound good. Okay. This is wisdom of Solomon 3 and 1. And so I found myself just um, so reading trying to take the word of word. He is. So 
This is Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 3, verse 1, and it reads, But the souls of the righteous are in the hand of Yahweh, and there shall no torment touch them. So I like that precept because, you know, like we were talking about, it's all hell from the break rules. A lot of things can start happening in the world. And as long as we're being righteous, you know, keeping the thoughts that just and commandments to the best of our ability, you know, just walking in the ways of our righteous foremothers. Um, Satan can't touch us, you know, whether it's we dealing with spiritual demons, whether it's um, light affliction, you know, Satan it's is a, not going to have a, nothing. It's a precept. Oh. So I can't, <laughs> I could not hear you. I'm so sorry. Um, but come yeah, yeah, that's all we on her end. Uh, yeah, the most kind. That's all I ever had to say on that precept. I really thought that was a good precept to bring out. Um, Wisdom of Solomon is really good. If you haven't read it, I recommend reading it. I just started, but kind, very nice precept. Uh, and our person, the most high. Can y'all hear me? No, kind. You Kine. sound better now. You sound good. Before it was like a glitching. <laughs> oh, praises! But um. Um, I pray to the most high, you know, we just got to, you know, continue to endure in this thing. I really, I was going to say something, but, um, say, I've been waiting with mine, y'all, but, um, you know, we really just got to continue to endure, you know, um, the kingdom is the goal. I was going to say something, but I forgot to say it. I'm about to pre- up. I sound, I sound good. It's a little it's choppy. choppy. What about now? Oh, and it sound a little better. Talk, say something else. As a dog, can you hear me? Con, that's yeah, con, that's better. Sounds better. Okay, con. Uh, the piece up I have is Sarek 428, which reads, Strive for the truth unto death, and the Lord shall fight for thee. So we got to put a whole faith and trust in the Lord that no matter what happens to us, that you know, of course, you're going to keep his word and then he's going to fight for us. So there's no, because the Lord did say like, vengeance are mine. So whoever put their hands on us, you know, during those times, they got something coming from them for, for doing that. Fine. Um, I'll pray to the most high. The most I put in my spirit, I was going to say, let me back up what Fallon had said and what you had just said, um, sis, um, Mark, is it Marquisha? Marquisha? I don't want to butcher your name so I can. But, um. Marquisha, but it's fine. <laughs> I know fine, you're talking fine. to me. <laughs> fine. Um, but yeah, just want to back up what y'all said. Like, you know, like I was saying earlier, you know, I really, I truly, truly find peace. I truly find peace in knowing that you know, Lord willing, we're going to be protected in that day. You know, we can't worry, but, you know, we just can't get caught up in this world. We can't get comfortable here because like I was telling my king, you know, our people, especially in the world, like to say, just focus on the now. Don't worry about the future. Just focus on the now. And yeah, the Yahweh by Shema Shah, Yahweh Shah said, don't take no thought of tomorrow. But we just got to be real with ourselves and know the times that we're living in, knowing that all hell could break loose at any moment. You know, J- the prophecy is literally unfolding in front of our eyes so we just we really can't get comfortable here we got to continue to endure and you know my my king has been talking a lot about prophecy lately you know that's what he got to do you know he's a man of the lord he got to do the works and prophesy unto the lost sheep he's been talking a lot about prophecy lately and it's just really been having me think and not in a sense of overthinking you know not in a sense of overthinking but literally just you know just literally just meditating like all hell is like Jacob's trouble is real. We can't escape it. You know, we can't escape it. And th- that's what we're going to have to go through. We're going to have to go through that. You know, we just got to continue to endure through all things, through this captivity, when all hell breaks loose, 
so we can get that kingdom, Lord, because the kingdom is the goal. We're trying to get everlasting life. We're trying to get the immortal body. We can't get caught up in this world. But I choose in knowing that the most high is not a liar. It's just like you said, like the most high's word is true. Number 23, 23 and 19, the most high is not a liar. Most high, how about Shema Shah is not a liar. What he says, whatever, everything he has said has happened and will happen. So I truly find peace and knowing that through the process of the most high, how about Shema Shah, you to stay diligent and keep the faith, keep doing what will be guided in that day, Lord willing, that the most high will have our back. Because that's what he said, and the most I'm not a liar. So even though our hell is going to be breaking loose soon and prophecy is unfolding, because when I was first in my walk, I'm not going to lie, I, when Jacob trouble, like when that topic came about, I was like, uh, I'm going to talk about this. But you know, now I'm going to be a year in my walk, Lord willing, I'll praise the most high. You know, I, it's just, I just find peace and knowing that the most high, go, he got us. You know, we can't, we, we just got to continue to stay diligent. And do the works and keep the faith. And Lord willing, we're going to be protected in that day. Lord willing, the Most High is going to look out. How do we know that? Because that's the set the Lord in script. The Most High looked out for Elijah. You know, the Most High looked out and fed him with ravens and fed him with an angel. So we just got to continue to just trust in the Lord. But I just truly find peace and knowing that we're going to be good. But we got to just be real. Like, we got to endure through Jacob's trouble. The light affliction we're going through right now is really nothing. So we just got to continue to endure during this light affliction, Second Corinthians 4 17. And all, so, you know, all praise to the most high. Lord, when we just really continue to endure, really continue to endure. Con, I had um, Isaiah chapter 26 and verse three, that will keep him in perfect peace, whose mind is stayed on thee because he trusts in thee. Um, and then I'll read verse four. It says, trust ye in the Lord forever. For in the Lord, Yahweh is everlasting strength. So um, as long as, you know, we stand diligent, we keep in our mind on um, the most high and, you know, what's well pleasing unto him, seeking those things that we may be better servants unto him. Um, you know, he'll reward us for our diligence. Con, con, um, con, and you know, um, I know we all have our different stuff going on day to day lives. You feel me? Um, you know, you might got that them few sisters you talk to every day. You might have that one or two sisters you literally tell everything to. So we all got stuff going on. You feel me? We all dealing dealing with different stuff, but you know, just just continue to endure. You know, the mo just remember that the most high is bigger than all your troubles. The most high is bigger than all of this. And something, you know, I really was meditating on this past Sabbath. Literally, like, we know the Lord is in control of everything. But when you really see the most high just doing his will in your life, like, you really just find more peace when you let the most high do what he do. Because we may want something to happen. We may have plans, but the Most High's will overrides that every time. And when you accept the Most High will, and when you accept and look at script and know that the everything is of the Lord, literally, when you're going through it, when you're not, when you're good, when you're bad, it's all of the Lord. You just find more peace because the Most High's will and plan is perfect in everything. Everything is working out for our good. When you're going through affliction, that's working out for your good. When something's happening, that's working out for your good. Everything is working out for our good. So that's something I just wanted to sh just say through the spirit. Like, that's something I really just been thinking about lately. Like, the most high will is going to happen regardless. And we just got to accept whatever the will of the most high may be. And just find peace and knowing that, hey, the most high got it. Just trust in the most high. I know it's easier said than done, but that's something we got to master. Trusting in the most high and just trust in the Lord. Because when our hell break loose, we're going to have to trust in the Lord. You know? There's not going to be, you know, you're not going to have that sister you can call on. You know, all you're going to be able to do is call upon the name of Lord Yahweh by Shema Shah. So, Lord willing, we just can just find peace and knowing that it just trust in the Most High. Let the Most High do what He do. The Most High's will and plan is perfect. We may not understand why something is happening, and that's okay. But the Most High is bigger than all of our troubles we're going through. The Most High is bigger than all of these things. 
But these spiritual demons are, are literally just doing their job. They're the host of heaven, sitting on the most high, right side and left, doing what they're told. Second Chronicles 18, 18. They're literally the host of heaven, doing what they're told by the most high, Yahweh, by Hashem and Hasha. So, you know, the most high is bigger than all of this. The most high is bigger than all of this. And we just got to continue to endure the light affliction. And then when all hell break loose, and Lord willing, we just continue to endure in this thing. But, you know, whatever y'all are going through right now, most high is bigger than it. You know, whatever you're going through right now, whatever spiritual demons you're dealing with right now, the most high sees you fit to go through it. He sees your settle to go through the furnace of adversity. Whatever you're dealing with right now, it, the most high wouldn't send it on if you couldn't overcome it. The most high knows we can and can't deal with it. You know, the most high's not going to suffer us anything we can overcome. That's First Corinthians 10 and 13. But whatever you're going through right now, Lord willing, you will be okay. It's going to help you be a better woman. You know, you're going to come out, your garment going to come out more clean, Lord willing. So whatever you're going through right now, just continue to endure. Continue to call upon the name of the Lord. It's just a season. Now, whatever you're going through right now, give it to the most high and just continue to fight, sis. Continue to fight the good fight. Continue to fight the good fight. Um, I got a Revelation 2 and 10. Which spirit none of those spirit none of those things without cause stuff will be whole devil into prison that ye may be tried and ye shall have revelation ten days. Be that faithful kind of like it's like the Lord saying, Don't be afraid of whatever comes upon you. You know, when things get physical, things really get serious. You can see how um choppy. That's the sound choppy. A little bit. A little bit. Um, but do I sound good? Like right now? To pour you I can make up what I'm saying? A little bit. Um, um, you sound good. Okay, calm. But what I was saying with Revelation 2 and 10, no matter what comes upon us, you know, in these last days, there's no need for us to be afraid. You know, even if it's unto death, we gotta remember, like, we're and the Bible speaks about how I sleep the sleep of death. So you're just basically going to be sleeping. So no matter what comes upon you, you know, don't be afraid of death because you're just going to be resting and sleeping as if you were taking a natural nap. So whatever comes upon us, you know, we got to stay strong, stay bold. You know, and look at our foremothers, the second, the seven, uh, in the second Maccabees, the seventh chapter, the sons with the mother, how they stood strong for the Lord. How Susanna, how she stood strong for the Lord. So that's how we got to be in times of trouble. Come on, I'll praise the most high, you know. You know, Lord willing, we just really can just continue to just encourage one another to endure. And, um, yeah, I don't forgot to pull the class. This whole call was about exhortating one another. And I don't forgot to say the exhortation for yourself. But this is Hebrews 3 and 13. But exhort one another daily. While it is called today, at least any one of you be heartened through the deceitfulness of sin. And then there's another one somewhere that says something similar. But I, I think it's the best one is. I can't remember right now. But um, Lord will we just continue to just build one another up and just continue to bear one another burdens and just continue to encourage one another to have the faith and endure this thing. Um, but um, this is Second Timothy four and seven. I have fought a good fight. I have finished my course. I have kept the faith. Henceforth there is laid up for me a crown of righteousness, which the Lord, the righteous Judge, shall give me at that day, and not to me only, but unto all, unto all them that left his appearing. So, Lord, we we can fight the good fight and finish our course through it all. So, I go to that precept in Hebrews. Was it Hebrews 3 and 10? Hebrews 3 and 13. And then 2 Timothy um, 4, 7 and 8. Time. Um, I mean, I had another one. This is the book of Hebrews, chapter 12, and verse um, 
one to bow with so great a cloud of witnesses. Let us lay aside every weight and the sin which is set before us. Look now to see how Rashad, the author and finisher of our faith, who for the joy that was before him endured the cross, despising the shame, and is set down at the right hand of the throne of Yahweh. For consider him that endured such contradictions of sinners against himself, lest ye be wearied and faint in your minds. So we just got to continue to just look at Yahweh Shah and look how Yahweh Shah endured all things. He endured the cross. He endured people just, you know, he endured people hating him. He endured all these things to get on the right hand of the throne of Yahweh. You know, so when we're going through it, we got to consider Yahweh Shah, how he endured all things. You know, we say we're trying to be like Yahweh Shah, trying to start from fiction like Yahweh Shah. You know, we, so when we're going through it, the light of fiction we're going through our day to day battling this flesh, lust of the flesh, battling these spiritual demons every day, we just got to remember Yahweh Shah. How he endured everything. He endured all things. Lord, we can move in the type of spirit and just continue to endure all, all these things. And definitely move in the spirit of our transformers, like the sister brought out, Susanna. You know, she had faith in Yahweh Shah. You know, um, our sister, um, yeah, Khan, and uh, our other righteous blood mothers, um, Judith, um, Esther. Judith was mighty, you know. Um, so, Lord, we just continue to keep the faith in Yahweh Shema Shah and just, just look at the precepts the Most High has given us. Look at the examples we have of our righteous blood mothers, of our righteous blood mothers, of Yahweh Shah, and just learn from them and learn from the scripts and get hope and find comfort in the scripts, you know. Um, but, um, we really just got to continue to endure this thing. And I had, um, to let me back off of that, that's uh, Sarah chapter 2, verse 10. Look at the generations of old and see, did ever any trust in the Lord and was confounded? Or did any abide in his fear and was forsaken? Or whom did he ever despise that called upon him? So... Um, and then I'll read verse 11 as well. It says, For the Lord is full of compassion and mercy, long suffering, and very pitiful, and forgiveth sins and saveth in time of affliction. So, Karen. Kind of phrases. And just to, um, let me back up with the priest that you just brought out. Sorry, to uh, 10 to 11. I have Romans chapter 8, 38 to 39. And it reads, For I am persuaded that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor depth, nor creature shall be able to separate us from the love of God, which is nothing at all, no matter what we go through, can separate from the love, from the love of God as long as we are doing what he told us to do and keeping the faith. And that's all we got to remember. Con, and I had a, um, a precept in Hebrews to let me back off of the one um, that uh, Kenzie brought out. Uh, in Hebrews 3 and 13 um, is Hebrews chapter 10 verse 20 it says let us hold fast the profession of our faith without wavering for he is faithful that promise and let us consider one another to provoke unto love and to good works not forsaking the assembling of ourselves together as the manner of some is but exhorting one another and so much the more as you see the day approaching. So we, you know, as we're reading and we're having discernment of the signs and the times and, you know, we see the days that are, you know, coming upon us or, you know, prophesied to, you know, come upon us. And, um, you know, just having this call is really good to keep sisters um, that invitation. So, call. Con, con, you know, you gotta continue to be there for one another and bear one of the burdens and check on one another. And you know, you know, um, it's cool to talk to the same sisters you talk to, but you know, check on sisters you haven't heard from in a minute. You know, 
reach out to that sister you haven't heard from in like four months, you know, see how that sister's doing. You know, Laura Willen, I can do better with that. Um, talking to myself as well, but Laura Willen, we can continue to provoke one another to good works and encourage one another and be there for one, one another and cheer one another on in this race that we're fighting, these spiritual demons. And this is um, First Corinthians 9 24. Know ye not that they which run in a race run all, but one receiveth the price, so run that ye may obtain. And every man that striveth for the mastery is temperate in all things. Now they do it to obtain a corruptible crown, but we are incorruptible. So we're on this race running to get the kingdom, Lord willing. We're on this race running to get that incorruptible body, Lord willing. So run. Run that you may obtain. We got to continue to run. We got to continue to fight this fight. The condition of the battle, second is 757. Um, you know, continue to fight the lust of the flesh, you know, because this is the condition of the battle. And the most high, Yahweh Shemasha chose us. This is John chapter um, 15. Verse 16, ye have not chosen me, but I have chosen you and ordained you that you should go and bring forth fruit and that your fruit should remain, that whosoever, that whatsoever you should ask of the Father in my name, he may give it to you. He may give it you. So we were chosen. The Most High Habashimasha chose us for this battle. We were preordained in the womb. We were preordained. We were preordained to come into this thing, to come into this truth, to come back to our heritage, you know, to be renewed. So like you. Uh, we were we were we were preordained to come into this truth, you know, to be renewed in the mind and spirit, to come back to our heads and know who we are according to the Bible. You know, so we gotta continue to fight this fight because the most high is not dealing with every man, child, woman in Israel. But the fact that the most high chose every single one of you sisters on this call, including me, you know, he chose us for this battle. Everything you're going through, the most high already knew we'd go through it. He chose us for this battle. So we gotta continue to fight this battle. We gotta continue to run this race. We got to continue to call upon the name of the Lord and trump over these spiritual demons. We got to continue to do these things in the name of Yahweh Bashim Hasha. You know, so Lord will we just continue to endure. Hi, um, I'm Precept. Um, just for times when sisters might feel weak. Um, and I just feel like this precept is really good just to know that. You know, you're going to have times when you don't feel at, you know, your 100%, but we got to keep it going. And this is 2 Corinthians chapter 12 and um, verse 9. Uh, well, I'll start at 7. It says, um, and least I shall be exalted above measure through the abundance of the revelations there was given to me a thorn in the flesh the messenger of Satan to buffet me, lest I should be exalted above measure. For this thing I besought the Lord thrice that it might depart from me. And he said unto me, my grace is sufficient for thee, for my strength is made perfect in weakness. Mostly, Salakia, most gladly, therefore, I will rather glory in my infirmities that the power of Yahweh may rest upon me. Therefore, I take pleasure in infirmities and in reproaches, in necessities, in persecutions, in distress for Yahweh Shah's sake. For when I am weak, then I am strong. So, you know, um, like I said, I feel like this is a really good precept, you know, for those days where we might feel low or those days where, you know, um, we just feel really weak. But we can be strong through Yahweh Shah, Yahweh Shah. So come. Um, my prayers are the most high. How about you, Mosh? I'm like, how was I? Come and you know, um, you know, um, this is First Peter chapter one and verse six. Where Andy greatly rejoiced, though now for a season, if need be, you are in heaviness through manifold temptations. But the child of your faith, being much more precious than of gold that perishes. Though it be tried with fire, it might be found as a praise and honor and glory at the appearing of Yahweh Shah Hamashiach. So, Lord, will we just continue to endure during these seasons that we're in? Because everything is just for a season, you know. Um, whatever you're going through right now is just for a season. And I've been in a, I don't even know, but, you know, whatever spiritual demons, you know, we're struggling with at the moment, whatever the most highest, um, 
putting on us to deal with because everything is of the Lord. The Lord will continue to endure during this season because it doesn't storm forever. It was raining today, but it's not raining anymore. So it doesn't rain forever. It doesn't storm forever. It's just a season. And it's something that Lord willing, I can take heed to as well. Something that we can all do better is to rejoice when we're going through it. Because the Lord is dealing with you. The Lord is dealing with us when we're going through it. And so Lord willing, we can have more of a being good spirits even when we're going through it. Because you know, I had kind of I kind of had a spirit on me earlier. And I just had to pray. And then, you know, I wasn't feeling the best, but you know, I, I just said out loud, you know, it's just light affliction. No, I'm okay. I'll pray to the most high, you know, because it could be worse. But hey, the Lord is dealing with me and I'm still in this truth. So I'll pray to the most high, you know, you know, so it's just, I uh, just have to tell myself that it's just a lot of friction. It's just a lot of friction. So, Lord willing, we can just kind of joy more and just thank the Lord more, even when things don't go our way, even when we don't understand why we're going through something, even when the Lord is just, really, really dealing with us. Lord, we could just call upon the name of the Lord and still praise the, the name of the Lord and still, you know, like Paul said, making mentions and giving thanks to you. How about always in our prayers? So kind of uh, the water lily for that. Um, you know, we are stronger than we think when we're low. You know, actually when at our, at our lowest, that's our strongest, honestly. So Lord, we can just continue to be strong in the name of how about because we faint in the day of adversity. You know, um, our strength is weak, roughly paraphrasing Proverbs 24 and 10. Let me get it. Um, this is the book of Proverbs chapter 24 and verse 10. And it reads, for thy faint in the day of adversity, thy strength is small. So Lord, will we continue to be strong in the name of Yahweh Shemash? Okay, so I have a precept which is Matthew 24 and 13, the classic which reads, that he that shall endure to the end, the same shall be saved. So as long as we, like the sister speaking about our light affliction, so as long as we endure the light affliction, where it's heavy affliction, or the times of trouble, as long as you endure to the end, you fight the good fight, the Lord said his old mouth once again, that he will save you, so there's no worry. There's no need for us to worry when I speak, and I'm speaking to myself as well, because I have a, bad habit of doing that but you know as long as we keep the faith and endure the lord said that he would save us a guaranteed save at that sure Con, and um the all praise to the most high he's he's showing you what spirit you're struggling with so now you just give it to the lord and ask the lord to give you that strength to fight it you know, um, and, you know, just all personal will talk, like he even reveals to us what we be dealing with. Because Lord don't got to do that. And something that I was listening on the video last week, Believes It Away, it really was just something with my spirit, was like, for real, everything is literally of the Lord. Like, literally everything. You know, the spirits, the most I send on us, it's, it all goes back to Yahweh. And then his only began to say, Yahweh Shai. The Lord is literally controlling every single thing. So, you know, it's just all personal. Most high, He shows us what we're dealing with. He shows us how it can be better. He shows what we're struggling with because the Lord is allowing that to happen. The Lord is allowing us to want to do the works. He's allowing us to know who we are. He's allowing it. Like, this is all of the Lord. It's a blessing to be in this truth. He's allowing us to know how it can be better. So when the Lord shows us what we're dealing with, what we're struggling with, how it can be better, you know, we really got to, work on that thing Lord willing so our personal most high you know he really revealed to you that you you struggle with worrying you know Lord willing you can rebuke that thing you know repent for that just continue to strive to overcome that thing Lord willing you know uh I, I was dealing with that demon a while back you know just worrying fearful and you know I had to repent for that and you know kind our personal most high that he even sees us fit to go through these things you know, but Lord willing, we just can really just call upon the name of the Lord more. Just be more thankful. Just continue to endure. Um, bear one of the burdens and stuff. You know, and definitely find that just balance. Whew. Time. It's real, um, you know, really powerful with, you know, y'all sisters are breaking up. Um, 
it just really reminded me, you know, even when you were saying you, uh, you know, you just said out loud, you know, what you need to say. And it reminded me of um, Luke chapter 10, verse 19. It says, behold, I give unto you power to tread on serpents and scorpions and over Salakia and over all the power of the enemy and nothing shall by any means hurt you. So it's just like, you know, um, when you feel in like, you know, a spirit may be on you or sadness or, you know, anxiety or stress or worry or whatever, anything opposed to, you know, us trusting in the most high, having faith in the most high and um, just giving us out the spirit, just for us to be able to say out loud, you know, li listen, not today, Satan, I rebuke you, any spirits that, you know, are trying to have me out the spirit or, you know, and for us to have, have that faith that we really have that subjection over those spirits is, is really powerful and to keep that in remembrance, you know, that, you know, Satan only has as much power as the most high will allow him, you know, to have. And um, if we have more faith in the most high, Lord willing, that will come back, you know, what, what Satan is trying to do to us in those times when, you know, we are feeling low or, um, you know, days where we're just like, dang, today's just one of those days I'm really in, trying to endure through, you know, so... Um, I pray for the most high. You know, we really do have the power to tread upon these spiritual demons. And um, like if you, when you read the account of Second Chronicles chapter 18 on down, when it says the host of heaven, let me just read it real quick, actually. I'm just going ahead and bring it out. Well, this is the book of Second Chronicles chapter 18. And it reads, um, and again, he said, therefore, hear the word of the Lord. I saw the Lord sitting upon his throne and all the hosts of heaven standing on his right hand and on his left. The host of heaven is these spiritual demons. So you got a manifold of spirits sitting on the most high's right hand side and on his left. And he's in his throne. And the Lord said, who shall entice Ahab king of Israel that he may go up and fall at Ramoth Gilead and one spake saying after this manner and another saying after that manner. Then there came out a spirit and stood before the Lord and said, I will entice him. And the Lord said unto him, wherewith? And he said, I will go out and be a lying spirit in the mouth of all his prophets. And the Lord said, thou shalt entice him and thou shalt also prevail. Go out and do even so. Now, therefore, behold, the Lord hath put a lying spirit in the mouth of these thy prophets. And the Lord hath spoken evil against thee. So I read this account over at least five times before. Or maybe more than that. But I was watching this video from Believe It Away. And the way that broke it down, it was just so smooth. Like the host of heaven is these spiritual demons. And the Most High is literally asking these spirits, who shall entice a half king of Israel that he may go up and fall over Mount Gilead? The Most High is literally asking these spirits, which one of y'all going to go destroy a half king of Israel? And a spirit came out and said, I will go out and I will be a lying spirit. So lying is a spirit. Everything is a spirit. Sadness is a spirit. Anger is a spirit. Happy is a spirit. Everything is a spirit. And the Lord sends these spirits on us. The Lord said, go out, prevail, Thou shall also prevail, go out even. So prevail means to win, to triumph. The Lord is literally sending these spirits on us. Literally, these spirits are literally just doing what they're told. So we got to find peace in knowing that the Most High is not going to send a spirit on us that we cannot overcome, put us in a situation that we cannot overcome. The Most High knows what we can and cannot deal with. First Corinthians 10 and 13. But we really got to remember these spirits are literally doing their job. They're just doing what they're told to do. So if the Most High is asking these spirits, who shall, have, who shall entice I have King Israel? How much more is the Lord having with these? How, how much more do you think the Lord is having conversations with these spirits about you? Who shall entice um, Lily? Who shall entice Aberia? Who shall entice Aquila? Who shall entice Fallon? Who shall entice um, Marquesia? I should like if I butcher your name. But if the Lord is having these conversations with, with, with these spirits about I have King Israel, how much more us so these spirits are literally just doing their job but we also got to find peace and comfort in the scripts and know that we have the power to tread upon these spiritual demons like the sister glue just brought out 
to know that the Lord is just trying us through the fire. This is Isaiah 48 and verse 10. Behold, I have refined thee, but not with silver. I have chosen thee in the front of the affliction. So the Most High is choosing us to go through the front of the affliction. So we just got to remember that. You know, like the sister Lumen said, when you feel yourself, you know, you just have a spirit on you. The Most High has blessed you with that discernment to know you have a spirit on you, to know when you feel off to the spirit. Hey, all praise to the Most High. How about your mouth? You got to remember that you have the power to tread upon these spiritual demons. The Lord will we just continue to remember that on our day-to-day -day lives when we're going through it by these demons. Fine. That um, reminded me. So this week, my sisters and I, we're reading um, Daniel chapter 1 to 6. And, you know, we just wanted an account that, you know, will help us with our faith and um, you know, we always read about our foremothers, but we was like, you know, we want to read, you know, just something else. So the most I put on our spirit to read, uh, you know, about Daniel and within Daniel, within those first six chapters, it also, um, in Apocrypha, um, it, on my phone, I think it's called the prayer of, um, as a but in the Apocrypha it's called the song of the three holy children. And you know what Aberia was just saying was you know even when we're going through those afflictions for us to remember that and that that really just reminded me of um the song of the three holy children like as they were in that furnace as they were going through their affliction as you know um the heat was being turned up even more and even more they were giving the most high all honor glory and praise um and that's our read for this week. But if y'all sisters, you know, have a chance to read that, I think that would be a really good read. Just, you know, a, a quick reminder for us to, you know, um, at the height of our affliction or what we may feel as though um, maybe the height of affliction for us or things that we may be going through or, you know, anytime, you know, just giving, it's a really beautiful example of in the most high. Um, glory on and praises when we are going through our trials, tribulations, and affliction. Kind, all praise to the most high, kind. Yeah, it's called the prayer of Azariah on the phone. But on uh, on the Apocrypha in the, the book, it's called, yeah, the uh, Song of the Three Holy Church of Kind. As they were going through that fire, they literally call upon the name of the Lord, Yahweh Shema Shah. And that's how we got to be. As we're getting tried through the fire, as we're going through, you know, we can't have that war as me spirit. We can't, we can't keep living. Counter joy more, to praise the name of the Lord more, to counter, to call upon them, Lord, even you know when things are not going our way, when we're really being tried through the fire, Lord, when we can have the spirit of them, you know, those they, you know, that 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 um that um, can you hear me? Con, Con, we can hear you now. But I'm sorry. Can you hear me? Con, I can hear you now. Yep. Mm -hmm. Hold on, y'all. I gotta hear you. My phone on But um, I was just saying, like, Con, they, that account is beautiful in Daniel the third chapter. And um the song of the holy children, you know, as they were in that fire, they were still calling upon them, the Lord, and praising him. So, Lord willing, when we're going through this lot of affliction, we're being tried through the fire. Lord willing, we can call upon the name of the Lord. Even when we're going through it, even when things are not going our way, Lord willing, we can um, we can pray that the Lord put the spirit on us just kind of joy more, to not have a war with me spirit, to thank the Lord when we're going through it. One second.
Con, our praise. I made it to a charger. Oh. Our praises. Oh. Oh. Our praises. Um, but I was just so like that. I was just gonna say, um, you know, Lord willing, we can just we can just pray that the most high put a spirit of um put a spirit on us to just count of joy more when we're going through it to you know just praise his name more when we're going through it because like in the count of day of the third chapter in songs of three holy children you know as they were in that fire like they were praising the name of the lord so when the most high sends us through that affliction when the most high sends us through the fire lord willing we can do a better job of just counting the joy and not having the lord's me spirit because everything's of the lord so low and we can do better with just Literally just counting their joy, praising the name of the Lord when, when he sent us to that fire. Because he's dealing with us. He's dealing with us. So Lord, we're going to do better with that. Um, Lord, we're not going to do better with that as well. I have a precept. This is Second Timothy chapter 1, verses 7 through 9. For, and it reads, for God hath not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. Be not thou therefore ashamed of the testimony of our Lord, nor of me his prisoner, but be thou partaker of the afflictions of the gospel according to the power of God, who hath saved us and called us with the holy calling, not according to our works, but according to his own purpose and grace, which was given us in Hamashiach Yahushua before the world began. So when times get hard in the latter days, we don't need to be afraid. Why? Because from the beginning, when we were created, Lord never put that spirit on us. So there's no need for us to have the spirit now. So that's why we got to try to fight to get that spirit off of us. So whenever times come, we'll have complete faith in the Lord and nothing to worry about. Oh, no person most has this. But it should be. Oh, no person the most high for real. Um, well, well, we can just, you know, just meditate upon these precepts and just continue to call upon them, the Lord, through it all, and just continue to endure. Did y'all have any more uplifting precepts y'all want us to read to encourage one another to just continue to endure? Um, I don't have any oh. as of right now. Connor had, uh, oh, so like you. Oh, no, you're fine. No, you're good. Go ahead. Okay, Connor had, um, dang, y'all, I was thinking about a whole bunch of stuff. Um, the first precept I had was, um, Sirach chapter two and verse, um, 12 and 13. You know, sometimes we, we kind of get in the most high's way, um, you know, sometimes when we do have that spirit of, you know, worrying or, you know, how how am I going to do this or how am I going to make this happen or, you know, whatever. Um, this is uh, Sirach chapter 2, verse 12. It says, woe be to fearful hearts and faint hands and the sinner that goeth two ways. Verse 13, woe unto him that is faint-hearted for he believeth not therefore shall he not be defended so in order for the most high to you know work how we need him to work um we we gotta have um you know all faith and continuously praying for faith not only for ourselves but for our sisters and for our brothers as well. Um, because some people may not perceive it as that being a spirit on them, you know. Um, and that just reminded me of Hebrews chapter 11 and 6. Um, and it says, But without faith it is impossible to please him, for he that cometh to Yahweh must believe 
that he is and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. And um, those two precepts just really reminded me of, um, you know, Peter, when he was walking to Yahweh you know, on the water. And it was like when his faith started decreasing, like, you know, he started sinking down. And it's kind of, you know, the same thing with us when we start, you know, our faith starts dwindling or we we start thinking, well, I don't know this or I don't know that. It's really honestly not for us to know everything or the most high would have, you know, given us that wisdom or reveal whatever it is that we might be seeking for. Um, but just to continuously um, trust in him and have that faith that he may do his job and be our defense, be our support. Um, so, Colin, that's it. Colin, I'll pray to the most high says, um, that was yeah, but this that reminded me of this account in um, Mark, the fourth chapter. Um, and it reads, um, I'm going to start at verse 36. And when they had sent away the multitude that took him, even as he was in the ship, and they were also with him of other little ships, and there arose a great storm of wind, and the waves beat into the ship so that it was now full. And he was in the hinder part of the ship, asleep on a pillow, talking about Yahusha. And they awake him and said unto him, Master, carest thou not that we perish? And he arose and rebuked the wind, and he said unto the sea, Peace be still, and the wind ceased, and there was a great calm. And he said unto them, Why are ye so fearful? How is it that ye have no faith? And they feared exceedingly and said one to another, what man of man is this that even the wind of the sea obey him? So basically, like, um, basically, there was a storm and Israel was like freaking out. There was like, uh, do you not care to repair? So how I was like, why are you so fearful? Why you don't got no faith? And, you know, Lord, we can just have more faith to just know that even though no matter how bad it may seem, how rocky it may seem to have faith in you, how about you shot to know that we're going to be protected. We're going to be okay. You know, that would be early. Let me get that precept. Um, the Lord willing, we can just rest in the Most High Yahweh. Have faith in the Lord and not have that little faith. Though he fall, he shall not be early cast down. For the Lord behold him with his right hand. Those Psalms 37 and 24. So, Lord willing, we can just know that though we fall, we're not going to be utterly cast down. That the Lord is upholding us with our hands. So, Lord willing, we can have more faith in the Lord, you know. Like when we, when it just seems like all hell is breaking loose in our life, when our ships are rocking <laughs> and it seems like there's a storm in our life, well, we just had a faith and trust in Yahweh Shem Um, Dang, it was another piece that I was thinking about. So like, yeah. Um, dang, y'all. So like, it was another one. Um, but kind of, well, um, we can just continue to have faith in Yahweh Shem Al-Shav. Um, Pooh, I was thinking about another picture. Pooh. Con, uh, Lord willing, it come back. Um, was it in Matthew? I don't even know. When you was talking about what you was talking about, it made me think of that and another precept, but I don't, um, I don't remember where it is. It really left me. Oh, I remember now. I'll praise Most High. I'll praise this. Um, it just made me think when you said that, Lord, when we can just pray for more faith, not just for ourselves, for our brothers and sisters as well. This is Iraq 33 and 17. Consider that I labor not for myself only, but for all them that seek learning. So, you know, we don't do this just for ourselves. We do this for our sisters as well. So, Lord, willing, in our prayers, we definitely mention the whole entire nation of Israel. Lord, willing, we can pray for Israel as well. And not just Israel and the truth, but Israel in the world that's in darkness because we was once in darkness. You know, but the most I called us to the truth. So, Lord willing, we just pray for our family in darkness and our family in this truth. Lord willing, we can just pray for Israel and make sure we're always praying for Israel because Israel need prayers. You know, their brothers and sisters that are going through it. And we're all dealing with something, but we don't, we really don't know what people are going through behind closed doors. We really don't. You know, we you really don't. Unless they're really telling you for real, you really have no idea. And Lord willing, we can just pray for Israel more often because there's brothers and sisters in this truth we probably never met that's going through it. Or, you know, just brothers and sisters in the world that's just really going through it. So, Lord willing, we can just continue to pray for Israel and pray that, you know, the faith, our faith increases, our fear of Yahweh Shemashah increases. 
No, because we don't do it just for ourselves. So that priest just reminded me what you brought out to the spirit, really. It's just praying for Israel and just praying for our brothers and sisters in this truth and just praying that Israel continues to endure. You know, um, when people ask me for my prayer requests, I usually say the same thing, um, just that Israel fear the most high to death and just continue to endure. You know, and that's just because Israel just really need prayer and we just really got to continue to pray for our brothers and sisters. So kind. I just have like three priests or just a few ones. Uh, I got two that's like a faith faith booster. The first is Second Kings six and sixteen. Well, seven verse fifteen. Fifteen to sixteen. And when a servant of the man of God was risen early and gone forth, behold, an host can pass the city both with horses and chariots. And his servant said unto him, Alas, my master, how shall we do? And he answered, Fear not, for they that be with us are more than whole host against these two brothers. So basically he told him, just don't fear. You know, just two simple words he told him. Two words out of all the things he could have told him, he simply told him, fear not. Because more, there's more than, there's more with us than it is with them. So there's no the fear so when we're alone going through persecution you know things coming against us we gotta remember that we're not alone the lord has angels around us which goes into psalms the next precept psalms 91 and 11 which read which reads for he gave his angels charity to keep in all that weight so the lord has you wherever you go and the last is which and his so, eyes are them fear him he was Shalom. Khan, we can hear you now. You girl, you I was in the matrix. kicked out. You was in the matrix. <laughs> you was in the matrix so bad. <laughs> this is crazy. What was the last thing you heard? Okay, so you was the, you were on the last precept, but I I didn't hear the last precept. I know you brought out Second Kings six, fifteen through sixteen, and then Psalm ninety one and eleven, and then I didn't get to hear the last one. Okay, Khan, so the last I was looking, I was kicked out. I said, this is saying. Um, this is all right, 15 and verse 19. And it reads, and his eyes are upon them that fear him, and he knoweth every work of man. So like I was saying, as long as you fear the Lord and keep in his law, statutes, and commandments, he's going to deliver you and protect you no matter who or what you're going through or what's coming against you. Uh, I had no, I just um had two last precepts um just for you know um you know Iberia you were just saying everything is of the Lord so this is Matthew uh seven and seven it says ask and ye mm, ask and it shall be given you seek and ye shall find knock and it shall be opened unto you. Um, for everyone that asketh receiveth, and he that seeketh findeth, and to him that knocketh it shall be open. Um, you know, so the most high he knows what we need during these times, sisters. So um, Lord willing, we can pray into the most high. And you know, I was talking about that before, you know, kinda we'll, you know, maybe call our sister or, 
you know, be like, you know, can y'all pray for me or whatever? But we didn't seek the Most High first, so um, he, it, the Most High has really made it a, a a real big point for me to remember to pray pray to Him first before we we are reaching out for other sisters to pray for us. I mean, it's nothing wrong with asking your sisters to pray for you, but you know, make sure you seek in the Most High first because He knows what you need. He's the only one that can give you what you need. And then if we go to um the previous chapter, which is uh, Matthew chapter six, I'm gonna just um, start at, um, da -da -da -da. Uh, let me see. I'm gonna just start at 30. So Matthew chapter six and 30, it says, wherefore, if you have so close the grass of the field, which today is and tomorrow is cast in the oven, shall he not much more clothe you? O ye of little faith, therefore take no thought, um, therefore take no thought, saying, What shall we eat, or what shall we drink, or wherewithal wherewithal shall we be clothed? For after all these things do the, the Gentiles seek, for your heavenly Father knoweth that ye have need of, of all these things, but seek ye first the kingdom of Yahweh and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. Take Therefore, no thought for to, for the morrow, for the morrow shall take thought for the things of itself sufficient unto the day um, is the evil thereof. So, you know, um, Lord willing, these precepts just help us, you know, endure through those times and keep us encouraged to continuously fight in this good fight, um, knowing that everything is already preordained and the Most High knows what we need. But seek his face, you know, 10 times more. And, you know, Lord willing, if he sees it fit for us to have those things that we're asking for, that it, it'll be fulfilled. Ah, absolutely. Um, um, uh, the last precept I have is Isaiah 54 and 17. Right. And it reads, no weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper. And every tongue that shall rise against thee in the day of judgment thou shalt condemn. This is a heritage of the servants of the Lord. And that righteousness is of me, said the Lord. So no matter who or what comes against you, just have the faith and knowledge that it's not going to prosper. Like the a sister brought out earlier, whatever um, is for the most side, you know, basically nobody can overcome it. Nothing can overcome it. So long as you being righteous, keep his law, statutes, commandments, and try your best, the Lord is not going to have nothing to prosper over you or prevail. Con, I'll praise the most high. You know, y'all are making some really beautiful points to the spirit. You know, Lord, oh, we right, just can't. Right. Oh. No, you good. Then. Uh, I'll step out. Me and my king both on cross. So let me step out the room real quick. It's like it, baby. <laughs> but um, Lord, we we can. Okay, bye. But um, Lord, willing, we can just continue to just trust in the Most High. We just know that, you know, the Most High knows what we need. The Most High is going to protect us. The Most High got us. You know, the Most High is not going to give us anything we cannot, cannot overcome. But Lord, willing, we just continue to call upon the name of the Lord and um, continue to endure all these things and know that you know, we're protected. You know, like the sister brought out the priest, so we have more power on our side. We got the Most High. His only begotten son, the angels, and we got our mighty sisters. And if you got a head, you got your husband. And if you don't, hey, you got you got some mighty brothers on your side too. You know, so we got a we got more power on our side. <laughs> so, we got more power. Okay. So Lord willing, we just continue to call upon the name of the Lord and endure all these things because the most high got us. The most high literally has us in his hand. He has us in his hand and protected behind his shield. And Lord willing, we can just read some. Precepts. Actually, let me just get the Psalms precept real quick, real quick, real quick. So I can, um, this is Psalms chapter 61. And it reads, um, hear my cry, O Yahweh, attend to my prayer. From the end of the earth will I cry unto thee when my heart is overwhelmed. Lead me to the rock that is higher than I. For thou hast been a shelter for me and a strong tower from the enemy. I will abide in thy tabernacle forever. I will trust in the cover of thy wings. For thou, O Yahweh, has heard my vows, thou hast given me the heritage of those that fear thy name. Thou will prolong the king's life and hear his years as many generations. He shall abide before Yahweh forever. 
Oh, prepare mercy and truth, which may preserve him. So will I sing praises of thy name forever that I may daily perform my vows. So we got to just know that we're protected in the most high Yahweh by Shema Shawins. We're protected in the most high hand. He's our shield. He's our protector. Psalms 18. The most high has us. So Lord, will we just continue to rest in the most high's presence, rest in his hands, and just know that the Lord got us. Lord willing, y'all continue to endure in the faith, continue to increase in the faith. Lord willing, whatever is trials and tribulations, the Most High is allowing you to go through. Lord willing, you stay strong. Lord willing, you continue to endure and call upon the name of the Lord, even when you're going through, because the Lord is dealing with you. Now, Lord willing, we just continue to endure during this light affliction. And when all hell break loose, just continue to fight the good fight. Finish the course. Remember you have a shot, how he endured all things. Just continue to endure and move in the spirit of righteous formers and carry the fruits of the spirit and do what is pleasing and acceptable in the most high eyes, Psalms 19 and 14. And I just, I love y'all. And, you know, one of them is continue to endure and know that, you know, the most high got us. The most high chose us for this battle. The most high got us, you know, and Lord, when we just continue to call upon the name of the Lord, because we're going to get tried. We're going to get tried in a fire. And that's all person most high, he's even dealing with us. And Lord, willing, we continue to get tried. We continue to call upon the name of the Lord when we're doing so. And Lord, we continue to show up for our sisters. You know, Lord, the Lord just continues to deal with us. And Lord, willing, you know, we endure to death in this thing. Most high, willing. But, um, I love y'all. And I just pray that, Lord, willing, we, we, we make it up out of here. When we, we just be a part of one third, it's Lord, willing. Lord, willing. Absolutely, Lord, willing. Charm, Lord, willing. To water, sister. <laughs> oh, praise to the most Love y'all too. Shalom, love y'all. Love y'all. Shalom, love y'all too. Shalom. 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 Shalom.